Summer is here. And I want to welcome everyone to the summer solstice. You know, on this day, summer solstice, the word solstice can mean sun, but also means to be still or to be quiet. So on this day, it's, it's uh, very important that we recognize that the sun is at its highest point in the sky and that the day length of light is the longest. And so we're, we're going to see some shifts here. We're going to see certain organs that are going to be more influenced, certain elements that are more influenced, and some strategies that I'm going to give you guys on basically kind of like a sleep schedule that you might be able to shift, certain foods. So let's jump right into it. So what would the element naturally be if you guys think for summer, right? We think heat. You guessed it. It's the fire element. Uh, also the uh, emotion of passion and and that's something that kind of goes right along with the heart which is the organ so see the interconnectedness there now the stomach and the spleen are also part of summer but that's usually later on like in August when it starts to get more muggy and, and hotter but again we're gonna focus on this heart energy we're gonna focus on the yang energy and we're gonna focus on the passion and this, this idea of lifestyle management for because we have you know the sun coming up early and it's obviously not going down early. So what would we do naturally, right? We can't stay up late and wake up early. Now on TCM they say, yeah, you actually you can if you have rested properly in winter. Here in America though, most of us don't do that. So I like to adopt more of an Avedic kind of outlook on it that they have on summer and that is to wake up early to get the day started but it's also to take a nap between one and three and that helps where that's actually your small intestine a meridian that's like active during that time which really correlates closely with the heart as well so this is a time like between one and three that you if you feel like you need to take a nap take a little rest because you have been getting up early and maybe you have been staying up late it's an amazing time to do that. And with this being the fire element, we're seeing yang, yang. So yang is go, 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 right? So we wanna nourish our body nutritionally with yin foods and cooling foods. So this isn't the most optimal time to eat copious amounts of meat and, and dairy. And this is actually a better time to eat more fruits and mainly green cooling foods. So this is where we really want to start to incorporate maybe that daily salad or that microgreen uh, salad that you guys know I, I love so much. But also to just think that we don't need to be eating a copious amount of food. Now, we all have to take this in context because we're all on our journey. We all have different things we're trying to fix and whatnot. So you have to take that in context. But when we adhere to the season, we see a natural flow state kind of go within us because when we move out of the flow of the season and the influences of that season, we can find ourselves being out of balance and out of kelter with that which we are. We are a part of this whole thing and this thing is a part of us. So adhering to it is just the smarter thing to do. So taking my advice here the best you can, eating cooling foods, right? Staying away from super dense heavy foods. You don't really wanna hammer your digestion. And when I say cooling too, you also want to be careful because a lot of people right now, they love ice cream. They love eating ice cream. I love eating ice cream. But this isn't the best time because even though it can be cooling, it's dairy. And dairy can actually slow your digestion down. So I'm going to have some ice cream this summer. But just keep in mind not to have a copious amount, right? It's not, now's not the time for that. And, and heavier foods too as well. And just keep that all in mind. You really want to kind of focus more on the cooling element and nurture kind of the yin element because the yang is going to be there. You're naturally going to have more energy. You're naturally going to want to go do things. Your friends are going to be calling. Let's go to the lake. Let's go swimming. But that right there, swimming, that's kind of more of that cooling yin element that we want to nurture our body with is, is doing fun activities that can kind of cool us down. But we don't want to necessarily be want to be putting tons of ice in our water and drinking like super cold water as well. We want that water to be cool, but not too cold. So there's a balance to all these things. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. But one of the things that I really want to mention too is hydration. You know, a lot of us just don't drink enough water. 
I see a lot of companies making hydration products and I really just don't agree with it. Mainly because it's a, it's a shortcut. People think they can take these powders and they're hydrated. But in reality, most people just need to drink more water. And they need to make sure they're not drinking plastic water, right? Water that's in a plastic bottle. So making sure you're filtering your water, cleaning your water, getting that TDS down as low as you can, and then adding a little Icelandic sea salt to that water to get proper hydration, the way mother nature intended. Not in some like little crazy packet thing that you take with you that's made in a lab. Let's use what mother nature made for us because we come from her. And we have a mutual exchange of energy that we want to give to her through our works and then she provides for us. So again, adhering to nature in these ways allows us to be more in this flow state and allows us to skate through life with grace and ease. So just to kind of go over it again right quick, this is the summer month. This is the heart organ that we're mainly going to focus on and stomach and spleen. We're also in this fire element and yang element. So nurturing yang with yin, knowing that passion and fire and vigor is going to be there to keep that in balance with maybe cooling things and softening things to go and have fun. And if you're looking for Crucial Four products to focus on because you really want to adhere to the seasons, well, we're talking about the heart. And what is the number one mineral the heart needs? Magnesium. Magnesium. So yes, I mentioned putting Icelandic salt in your water because we all know there's two times more magnesium in our Icelandic salt than even Celtic, but also magnesium bicarbonate. So by adding a little bit of magnesium bicarbonate with a little Icelandic sea salt in your water throughout the day, you're really gonna nurture that heart energy by bringing certain foods in like the breakfast that have the number one food source of magnesium, cacao, you're naturally gonna be nurturing that heart element. The Icelandic sea salt, the magnesium bicarbonate, and breakfast. And then as we jump down to the stomach and spleen, we start to look at things like colostrum. Now I know this is dairy, but when you take colostrum, you're supplementing it. So you're only taking a small amount and you're obviously not having it ice cold. But I know a lot of us will be wanting to make smoothies and we'll be wanting to have those to be cooler. And I don't see an issue with that. Just make sure you're keeping that in balance. Maybe think about adding more of the, the green element in there to your smoothie, to your in-breakfast smoothie. Or if you don't like in-breakfast, just adding some green elements to your smoothie that will help cool you. Cucumber. You ever heard cool as a cucumber? Well, as you guys know, I love cucumbers. I ferment my cucumbers to turn them into pickles. And that's something else that I posted on the story that will be live for you guys to be able to bring into your life. Well, guys, I don't want to spend too much more time here. I just want to give you guys the elements. I'm going to show you guys stretches later on. And you guys know we're going to be giving you guys tons of information about the summer. So enjoy this day and take time to be still and recognize the sun. Because without it, we couldn't be here. Thanks for watching.